What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on Jammy's furniture mod, and what this mod does is it adds a bunch of furniture to Minecraft that you'll be able to decorate your houses and other buildings with. Now it does add a lot of different furniture items, and it will allow you to uh, very nicely decorate your homes. So let me go ahead and hop in my world here, and I will show you exactly what this mod adds and what you can do with it. So you can see I built a new home over here. I am still in my uh, normal mod world. As you can see, I have the castle over here and the uh, floating lake house over there and then my newly added tower and all that stuff in the distance. So let me go ahead and uh, hop down here. And I will show you exactly what this mod adds. Uh, first off, we'll start with the outside. You can see we have a gutter system. Now, I don't really like the gutter system particularly because it's... Uh, it doesn't look too great as you can see at least not with the style that I chose for my house and it also it's not too functional it just kinda cuts off at the end here I would like to see that you'd be able to like wrap it around all these corners and everything and it also stops at the front of the block like it doesn't go all the way which is kind of annoying so it's a little bit hard to work with that's my only complaint about that um, and then we have the roof we have new roof blocks uh, you can make it go all the way up to a point, but I did not want to do that with this, so I just put some black wool, which was it was closest that matched the roof. But the roof does look very, very nice. And then we also have little chimneys. Um, they're very tiny, so for a house that's this big, they're really not all that great looking on top of it, But I, so I just threw two down. And then we do have some lanterns. You can turn these off and on by right-clicking them. And then we have some flowers. Uh, this is not a planter box that's added by it. I just went ahead and made this with some uh, trap doors and grass. But yeah, we have some nice looking flowers here. So that's pretty much it for the outside of the house. Now when I'm walking up, you can see I do have blinds in almost all the windows. So I'll go ahead and show you those. So here are the blinds. The blinds to me look very realistic and just very nice. Except for when you close them. When you close them, they do look pretty ugly and bland. Um, from the inside of the house anyways so you can see like when you're looking through a window and the blinds are closed they actually look very nice um, but when you're looking from the outside in but when you're in the inside of the house and the blinds are closed they don't look all that great and uh, they do actually block uh, daylight so if you have them closed um, it will be a lot darker in your house <coughs> excuse me I'm a little bit sick right now so my I need to clear my throat so up here we have some lights and again you can turn these off and on by right clicking them. Um, here is a bunch of different table pieces put together to uh, make a uh, dining room table and then we have chairs set around it. You can sit in these um, although I'm not sure why it does this. I'm pretty sure it's just some sort of bug but you can see I am like hovering above it instead of sitting down in it. Um, this is a beta version of the mod so that could be a reason why it does that. And then over here we have some uh, mob heads. It does add a good variety of these, and they all do make different uh, sounds of what the mob would make. The only one that does not make a sound is the Ender Dragon. And then of course over here we have some kitchen cupboards. These ones have a tabletop to them. Um, these ones are called the upper ki kitchen cupboards. They don't have a tabletop to them as you can see. And then here is a rubbish bin. And we have a sink here. doesn't really... Uh, have any function just for looks and this is a, a tabletop piece just so you can have like a more realistic looking kitchen and this is a freezer and we have a fridge and then right here is a cooker so if I go ahead and take my raw beef and place it on top and then the chicken in the stove and then we go ahead and take the coal and place it right here it'll cook them and it cooks them fairly fast as you can see that's kind of ripping through it so here we go, it's almost done. And now you have your cooked steak and chicken. So that is the kitchen. And then if we come into the bathroom here, you can see we do have a toilet. Again, you can sit on this by right clicking on it. And it still does show that I'm like hovering above it, if I can get the view correct. So um, I'm pretty sure that's just a bug that's in the mod that will be fixed. And we also have a kitchen sink, and then we have a kitchen cupboard. And then again, I have another rubbish bin in here. <clears throat> we also have a flower pot to hold your flowers. Looks very nice. And we also have a clock. This is probably my favorite item that is added by the furniture mod. If you go ahead and right click on the very top, it'll tell you what time of day it is. And the middle part, you can actually store things in. It's called a hidey hole. 
And then here is the couches. The couches look very nice. You can make them as long as you please. I just this is just like a little short couch that I made. Uh, these are coffee tables, and then we have a TV on top of them. The TV is just for looks. It does not have any functionality. It's just there to be there. And then here's I made a very large couch, and it also has a corner piece right here. So everything is just nice and uh, smooth and flush. So if I go and go into this room right here, you can see I just set up three beds, just make it look like it has a big bed, and then uh, I use some of the kitchen upper cupboards to look like there's like some uh, nightstands and stuff like that. Put another TV in, and uh, these are armchairs. You can also you can sit in all the chairs, and again I'm floating, so hopefully that gets fixed. Oh, need to close that. And again, here's what the blinds look like when they're closed from the outside. So that's everything for downstairs. Now if I go ahead and come upstairs, here is the cow head. Here's another bedroom I set up. So I set up a bunch of different bedrooms just to give you guys different uh, designs you could work with or something like that. Uh, these are table lamps. You can turn these off and on by right clicking them as well. And I also have some uh, lights on the top. I forget what these lights are called. Um, I think they're called overhead lights or something like that. And then um, here's another room. This room right here is pretty much identical to that other room. And then in here, um, I set up a nice little couch of a rubbish bin, a uh, nice little stand for the TV and the lights. And right here, I use the tabletops as shelves. So that's something you could do as well. And have our coffee tables with our lamps. Uh, right here, we have the zombie head. Over here, we have a mantle. Uh, since my house is made out of wood, I could not light a fire, but pretty much what you would do is the block behind this mantle, you would go ahead and place a fire in there, and then you would uh, put the mantle in front of it, so it would be a nice little fireplace. Right here we have a creeper head, and a spider head, and here this is the laundry room, just use cupboards again, and then we have the uh, washing machine. With the washing machine, you can put all of your armor in here to repair it. Now, it does need to have a considerable amount of damage to repair it. So, if it's still in the green, you will not be able to repair it, I've found, unless that is a bug. But you go ahead and just put a coal in here and put all your armor in there, and it will repair your armor. Over here, we have another bathroom with a nice view. And then some more couches. And here's the last head, which is the sheep head. Some more flower pots and a lot of lighting. And if we come out here, you can see the lanterns again and um, all the seating arrangements for the balcony. So yeah, that is the furniture mod. And here's the house that I built with the mod to showcase it. So it's a very nice mod. Probably one of my favorite mods just because it makes Minecraft have a more realistic feel to it. And it's just you can build awesome houses with it. So I now need to clear out my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving, prog archiving program, uh, which is something like 7-zip, WinRAR, or WinZip. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial, but all of the archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. Then you'll need to download Minecraft Forge and Jammies Furniture mod itself. So to get Minecraft Forge and Jammies Furniture mod, I'll go ahead and give a link to these two pages in the description. So first off, for the furniture mod, if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see we have a link to go and look at all the recipes and what uh, and what the blocks do. But we will be downloading the version for 1.3.2. And as I said, it is in beta right now. So there are some bugs that need to be worked out. But you want to go ahead and click on download. And this will bring us over to an ad fly. It'll say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Once you see skip ad, go ahead and click on that and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download Jammy's Furniture Mod. Now for Minecraft Forge, if we go ahead and come to this link, this page right here, we will be downloading the universal version. And you can either download from AdFly or direct. Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download all the files you will need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent just like this in the bottom left hand corner then go ahead and open up your roaming then open your dot minecraft open your bin left click your minecraft jar then right click it do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using 
I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now, we will be coming back to your bin later on in the tutorial, so go ahead and minimize that for now. Do not close it. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Minecraft Forge. And you want to highlight all these files and put them into your Minecraft jar. And the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold control, then hit A. And simply drag all this into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Minecraft Forge. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you don't have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select Delete Files, then hit Yes. And that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And you should minimize your bin. So go ahead and bring that back up. And go ahead and hit back so we're back in the .minecraft folder. Now you're going to need a mods folder in your .minecraft folder. So if you do not have one already, you will need to create one. And to do that, you want to simply left click in your Minecraft jar. And go to, not in your Minecraft jar, I'm sorry. Left click in your .minecraft folder. Then go down to new and select folder. And also create a new folder. And you, you want to rename this mods. So just M-O-D-S. So there you go. There's your mods folder. Go ahead and open that up. And simply drag the Jammy Furniture Mod zip file into the Mods folder. And you go and close that down. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time.